What's good, my homies? What's poppin'? It's your boy Frank Nitty. I'm back in the sneaker room, back bringing you guys another video. Today, we're gonna talk about a shoe that really wasn't coveted. No one really talked about this shoe. To me, the drop came surprisingly. I didn't even know these shoes were coming out at all. Just randomly surfing the Nike website. I hope I probably give the brand away. But I was like, when did these shoes came out? Matter of fact, when I saw these shoes, I thought this was a restock of this shoe because I assumed this shoe dropped maybe a year ago, probably last year or even a couple years back. But nah, apparently these shoes never came out. My mind's tripping, man. For some reason, I thought they did. But anyways, I had to have these, bro. I was like, put in cart, let me get them. Let me get them shipped to my house. Yeah, I know my favorite silhouette, the Air Jordan 1, but it's not that. And y'all know I buy a lot of Jordans. It's not that. It is a Nike. It is a comfortable shoe. It's shoes that I already have in my collection. But this colorway, I don't have, man. So if I bore you guys to death, I build up the anticipation long enough. Let's get right into this shoe. Here's the box. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And if you guys can read barcodes and style codes, and labels, you already know what shoe this is. And for y'all who don't, who don't, who don't wanna pause the video and do your own research, let's get into it. Here they go. These are the Air Max 98. University Red Summit White University Red Joints. Bro, ain't these shoes dope? I mean, seriously, these shoes are phenomenal, man. I love the 98s. I also love the 97s and I love the ones. I mean, he's like, Frank, yo, make up your mind. Which one's your favorite? I don't know. I love all of them. I love the Air Max line all together. But the 98 is just so classic, man. I mean, obviously the year speaks for itself, but I just love how they do the 98s. You got the full lens zoom, full lens zoom. Yeah, you got the full lens zoom, the air bubble, the whole air bubble unit throughout the whole shoe like you see in the 97s as well. But I like how they do it, that rugged look, right? They give you the patchworks on the side and also on the toe box, on the lateral side. It's just different, right? It's, 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 it's a different shoe. The cushion and comfort is probably similar to the 97, but you can distinguish the two by looking at it. Now these shoes are unlaced because I just couldn't wait and try them on. I unbox it. I had these shoes in probably in the, in the collection after two days, three days, probably four or five, who knows, man. But I just want to show you guys, man, show the appreciation I have for sneakers like this. It's not a hype shoe. It's not a Jordan. It's just a comfortable old school silhouette. And this color does it justice, man. University red, bro, everyone care for university red. You throw university red on a pair of Jordans and everybody go crazy for them. Well, not everybody, but the majority of people, man. Let's go to this shoe real quick, right? The obvious, Air Max on the tongue. You have that yin and yang type feel, you know, on one side one color, you, you get it, you get it. But look at the patchwork, right? You do have these lines that's going up on the lateral side, covering the swoosh, not in the sense covering it, but it's um, actually, you get it. It's, it's that piping, whatever it is, right? You also have that same patch piping on the lateral side as well, which is unique for the shoe. Um, Cause pretty much it's close to a 97, but not really. And also another distinguished part of the shoe is that patchwork on the toe box as well, you have this red, university red with the university red swoosh. Take it on the back, you got a university red heel, pull tab, if you wanna call it. You have rope laces, and you also have the lace holders and a university red colorway. Summit white, also throughout on the upper and also throughout the air bubble. The air bubble is, uh, is visible on both sides, the lateral and medial side of the shoe. And the outsole is predominantly that university red color as well. And that's it, that's all you're getting for these shoes. Nothing crazy, the colorway is just pretty much two. You got red and white, that's it, that's all, bro. Man, I am just ecstatic to have these shoes, bro. I, 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 matter of fact, I think I'm gonna rock them ASAP. Here's the other pair. I'm gonna throw these on feet ASAP Rocky, man. I don't even have a fit for it, but I'm gonna put one together. I'm gonna look and see what I have where I can just throw these on feet. I uh, don't need to be a special occasion. Definitely gonna rock this with some jeans. I'm um, pick a pair of jeans that I obviously would not bleed because it is predominantly white on the insole as well. So you don't want to get that discoloration on the insole because that would show up and that would be a thorn in my, you know what? But I don't know what else to say. Do not know what to say. Oh, I think I missed another another branding marker. Do you see the air 
on the back heel of the shoe. That's dope. You can see it on the right shoe as well, right? Yep, you do. Man, what you guys think about these shoes, man? Was this worth the price? Oh, they go for 180 and I think they're still readily available on the sneaker.com website. I keep saying sneaker. I know sneaker and Nike is one of the same, but the sneaker is actually on your phone and nike.com is actually on the web browser. I always, com not confuse them, but I always put them together as in they're one, but they're really separate, but there's the same company. They both do the same thing, but yes, you can find these on the nike.com website. So they're available. Uh, for the 160 if you care for them but this is something you guys want to wait and hold off to i'm not mad at you this is not everyone's cup of tea but if you're a fan of air maxes especially the 98 this is something i advise you to go after well it's up to you if, if you feel fit if your financial budget allowed this to happen then go and get it and that's all i want to say about these shoes man have to have it in the collection i want to do these videos asap now i did remember mike rich did do the video about a similar shoe that dropped this, the same day. It was also 98. It's not these pairs. His pair is like more of a like a pinkish, and he said he saw it on Instagram, and um, that kind of sold him. Um, like I said, I didn't even see that video. I actually had mine in my possession the same time he did his video. He shot his video that night and posted. I wanted to shoot my video, but I didn't. Suit to him. He have a pair. And he bought them day one. I appreciate people that can show the honesty and show the appreciation for a pair of shoes that has no hype. And I'm not also, um, I'm not, I'm not, I, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say, if someone rock a shoe and, I, and make me like it, I'll buy it. I will buy it. I like the fact that people can be creative. I like the fact that some people think outside the box. I love other people's thoughts and opinions on why they cop shoes. And also like the perspective from people rocking shoes give you a different look. Whether you're rocking it with skinny jeans, whether you're rocking it with shorts, I like to see a combination of all of that. And you have people who have their particular niche in shoes, whether it's Jordans, whether it's Vans, whether it's Yeezys, whether it is Nike Air Maxes. I like to see how they're rocking them because that may persuade me. I may like that Stilo and I might run with it. Now I got my own Stilo, but my mind, I like these shoes before anyone was rocking them. When I saw them start releasing last year on the Stink app, I was like, let me get a pair. But anyways, I digress. I appreciate you guys for watching this channel. If you're new to the channel and you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. Everyone else, man, keep leaving those comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, you already know my slogan. Good to go. These are dope. These are dope. It's a wrap.